Body cam footage just uh, body cam footage shows an unhappy Florida man being confronted by deputies after a Walmart employee said he spit in her face. The flag Flagler County Sheriff's Office said Channing Cooks claimed he unintentionally sneezed in the woman's face. The worker said he actually spat in her face and reportedly yelled, I have a cold. Watch what happens when the deputies caught up with him and the angry Florida man on this episode of Law and Crime Body Cam. All right, so he may have had a cold, slash, slap, wipe your nose. You feel me? I didn't apply to something. I didn't spit on you. I literally sneezed. I literally sneezed. But the, the fact that I didn't cover my mouth, that's not on me. They need to ban you, motherfucker, bringing all that COVID over here. My dick is too small. So I'm upset. It's just before 7 p.m. at a Walmart. <laughs> what, nigga? <laughs> hey man he seemed like he about to be entertaining let's see what the hell he does oh they got the footage inside the walmart okay i thought this is just body cam footage so we got footage inside we're gonna see if he actually spat or he sneezed martin flagler county florida where one disgruntled customer is about to not only say it but allegedly spray it too take a close look at the man seen here in the store surveillance footage Witnesses told police the man was arguing with an employee after trying to return baby formula without a receipt. Seconds later, the pair steps just out of view when another camera catches the moment this encounter takes an unexpected turn. Here, you can see our suspect appear to lunge at the employee. The man later tells police this was the moment he allegedly sneezed. But that woman is not exactly saying bless you. Hey, was that a sneeze or or did he spit? And he trying to first of all, he's trying to return baby formula with no receipt. Can you return baby formula? Like I thought once baby formula is cracked open, because you got the you got the plastic top on the top of the formula, but then you gotta peel the the the, the tin part back, then you got the scoops. Well, that's how formula used to be. I don't know. They got screw tops now. I don't know. I ain't got no kids. I ain't been around no kids that own formula. But this nigga trying to turn formula. Hey, let me let me get a let me get a refund on this formula, sir. No, nigga, <laughs> we're not gonna accept return formula. We don't know what you to put in here. But it, it looked like he, I think he spit, man. You see, our suspect appear to lunge at the employee. The man later tells police this was the moment he allegedly sneezed. But that woman is not exactly saying bless you. Take a look. The employee appears to push the man away from her twice before a suspect exits the store, and it takes officers no time to catch up with the suspect. Walmart got all this money in them raggedy ass cameras. This body cam footage being HD. The damn security cameras at Walmart be all distorted, except for the ones on the self checkout. The self checkout line. They'll get you in 4K. Make sure you scan everything. What's going on, buddy? Go ahead and shut the car for me. Give me a favor, step out. Uh, step out. Do you have anything on you that poke me, stick me, cut me, or hurt me? No, sir. Can I? Can I? Can I, try I, put your hand can I find out what it's for? Absolutely. Give me just a minute. Hold on. Are you, you're just being. You're just. You're just being detained. Just relax. I shouldn't be being detained. Oh, see that. Uh -huh. See that. I is this about Walmart? Really? Because I sneeze, I'm not against the law to sneeze. She was in my personal space, so I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not understanding. Okay. Oh yeah. Because all I did was sneeze. She was in my personal space. Okay. Just a change. Don't be at the Just a change. Just a change. Police identify the suspect as 37-year-old Channing Cooks. Another officer reads Channing his Miranda rights. Let's see how that goes. Do you understand these rights? No, I do not. I do not. Okay, understand. what part do you not understand? I do not understand. Of the Why am I being detained in handcuffs? I, I would love to explain okay, that, okay. but I need to meet, make sure you understand okay. your rights first. Okay. So, do you understand the rights that I just read you? So, I'm not under arrest. You are not under arrest right okay. now. You are being detained. You are not free to leave. We are conducting okay. your criminal investigation. Okay. Okay. That is why I read you your rights. Do you understand the rights that I just read you? Somewhat. Okay, what part do you not understand? Somewhat. How can I elaborate so that you can understand your rights better? You're saying I have the right. Basically, I'm, I'm under arrest. No, you're not. You are not free to so leave. So this is not under arrest. You, there's a criminal investigation that we're conducting. 
Okay. You are not free to leave. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I will get to that. Okay, okay. However, I'm talking about I need to make it criminal. Sir, this is, this sir, is my sir, I literally sir, sneeze. Sir, okay. I'm speaking to you. Can you please speak to me? Okay. They, ha they have no clue what's going okay. on. Okay. I'm the one conducting. But I'm in handcuffs. Yes, you are in handcuffs. You are not free to leave. What did I do? Okay. Can you tell me what I did to be in handcuffs? Once you tell me how I can further explain your rights to you so okay. that you can understand, okay. we will go into that. Okay. Until then, we are going to sit here and talk about your rights. Do you understand that? But I don't understand. What do you not understand? How I got the right to remain silent if you tell me that I got to talk to you about this and I'm scared. That's what I don't understand. You're right. Yeah, like, all right, if he's just being detained and you can't read him his Miranda rights because he's not under arrest. And if I had the right to remain silent, then I have the right to tell you not a damn thing. And if I don't understand, like, you reading me my Miranda rights means I'm under arrest. If I'm just being detained, then you can't read me my Miranda rights because I'm not under arrest. And if I'm just being detained, then I'll sit down here on the curb and I'll wait for this investigation to be over with. But I'm not under arrest. so. Go ahead and uh, just let me sit down here, do what you guys got to do, and we should be out of here within five to ten minutes. It's are telling you, you can speak to me or you you don't have to speak to me. However, I'm conducting a criminal investigation. Okay, well, at this moment, I'm not comfortable. So can you tell me? What, what are you not comfortable with? I don't understand. What I don't, don't, I don't you understand? Why I'm in handcuffs. You're in handcuffs because we are if conducting I'm not, a if criminal I'm not investigation. Under arrest, I'm in handcuffs. You are detained. Why am I being detained? Ma'am, if you cannot keep your composure, you need to go down to the police station, remove that badge off of your chest, remove that weapon from your hip and turn it in and quit the police force. If you are frustrated with this, your job is to be cool calm and collective and to serve the people this gentleman has a question he may be in the wrong but he does have rights you're saying he's detained so why are you reading him his miranda rights if he isn't under arrest that's what he doesn't understand if he's just being detained and why are you reading me my miranda rights as if i'm under arrest that's what he doesn't understand right now she's trying to explain your rights to you okay She's telling you you can either talk to her or not talk to her. But she, so this is part of the investigation. You don't have to talk to her. But until we figure out what's going on with the entire investigation, this is the way it's got to be. Yes, but this, so far, it's... Okay, so, okay, I understand. Okay. I understand. I understand. So do you understand the rights that I read you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, would you like me to read your rights to you one more time no, just to make sure? No, okay, so you understand your rights? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what happened today? Literally, I went to go do a return. Okay. Never tell them anything of what you've done. Just go ahead. What they say, you got to take this one on the chin. Get you a lawyer. If you got this big ass F-150, you should be able to afford a, a decent lawyer. I got a couple of people in Kansas City, but you in Florida. But get you a lawyer. Go on down there, man. Don't tell them anything. Because this woman right here is about to write that report totally different than this body cam footage. I bought a A return of what? Oh, uh, baby formula. Okay. See, I got children in the car. Okay. I went to go and do a return. I literally just walked through the, the, the line with the stuff. So the young lady. Do you lady, remember what line? Yes, line okay. number four. They, they confirmed okay. that. It's just the fact that I didn't have the receipt. I lost the receipt some kind of way. But I don't think she gave it to me. From point A to point B. And the lady was like, well, you can't return it. You know, you got that receipt. Okay. So another young lady went to go verify that I had to return. So it was all good. And then the manager came from the back and was like, listen, that's the policy. Without mm -hmm. a receipt, you can't return it or whatever. whatever. Okay, that was fine. You're still in lane four? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm out of lane four now. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm at the return. Okay, okay. I'm at the I return. Gotcha. Okay. Up front. Up front. And there's a lady sitting up talking to me. It wasn't the one. I wasn't upset. I wasn't in anything. She did say I raised my voice at first. But I literally sneezed. But the, the fact that I didn't come from my mouth, that's not on me. And I always do this. When I sneeze, I sneeze like this. Were you Were you guys in the, like, she was like the counter? She was like, literally, right in front of me. She was like, right here. And she grabbed my shirt. 
She grabbed me, she, 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 she hit me in the chest so, on camera <laughs> and grabbed my shirt. So if anything, I should be the one pressing charge. I did not intentionally sneak on. So when so when that part happened, were you was she behind the counter? Was oh no, 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 no. She was next to me talking. It was fine. Okay, so we was like right in front of each other. We was talking. There was no no ill will. There was no hate, anything like that. So I'm not understanding how I go from zero to a thousand so fast because it wasn't anything like that. Channing explains to officers that he unintentionally sneezed on the woman, but that doesn't exactly add up with what the victim has to say. Let's join officers back at the Walmart where the employee shares her side of the story. Did you call? Yes, I'm okay. just swimming at the face. All right, um, so what happened? So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to call the call. He was just asking for a return on baby formula. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, my, the, I'm with the deputy right now. No? Yeah. All right, thank you. So he was just asking for a return on the formula. We okay. can't give a return without a receipt. So he starts yelling, and then he spits in my face because we can't give him a return. Mm -hmm. So I push him away from me because he's spitting in my face, yeah. and then he continued to spit in my do face. Do you have any footage of he's what happened? Right now. Okay. And then do you want to pursue criminal charges? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm definitely I mean, I I seen the footage. He spat on her. It wasn't no damn sneeze. But I want to see him act a damn fool. And, uh, he's okay. Did he make any threats or anything? Yeah. Other than just the spitting. What did he say? He said he was gonna beat my ass. Okay. Anything else? That was it. The employee claims Channing spit on her multiple times in the altercation. Back with our suspected spitter, now seated in a patrol car, the 37-year-old is sticking to his story. I had no idea that she was even trying to call the police. That's crazy. I don't want to tell her that, hey, look, I can press charges because you literally just slapped me in my chest. And it's strong, like a rising slap. It's strong. And she grabbed by my, by my shirt. I told her, like, listen, I didn't try to sneeze on, sneeze on you uh, on purpose. This, that's, that's an applied assumption. I mean, due to the fact that you even heard me sneeze, I don't even think it should have escalated to this much because that's an applied assumption. I didn't spit on you. I literally sneezed. I sneezed. I sneezed three times. I sneezed twice. The second one came a little bit. The, the third one came a little bit. Yeah, you know this nigga lying. Whenever somebody get that white foam on the side of their mouth, you know they lying to you. A bit delayed, so I even gave her the courtesy of turning around at this time. Even though I was talking to her about, hey, I can, I can press charges for this. In the middle of that, I still sneezed, but this time I turned around. So I mean, that's on camera, cut and dry. I didn't, I still didn't cuss her out. I was like, listen, how could you be so upset with an applied assumption? No, my, sometimes my mom got a problem with the way I sneeze. I'm not, I don't sneeze in my hands. I don't. I sneeze, I cover it up, but I, I, that's the best you're going to get from me, you know? With that in mind, let's take another look at that surveillance footage and see if it says, quote, cut and dry, as Channing says it is. Here, you can see the moment Channing gets in the employee's face, followed by that brief struggle. Hey everybody, we're gonna get you right back to that body cam in just a minute, but before we do, I have a question for you. What do a lot of the body cams on this channel make clear? Is it the world is just a on, on your smartphone? But you know I sneeze. Front feet, you only pay them if you win. So if you're injured, you can easily start a claim at forthepeople.com slash LC body. And it's an applied assumption that what I did was intentional. I can see if I didn't sneeze, honey, but you know I sneeze. <laughs> an applied you assumption. I I'm pretty sure she's gonna say, hey, my guy sneezed around me. I'm pretty sure she probably said, hey, this guy just spit in my face. And that's not how it went at all, point blank, period. All right, Jenny, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to move you over to my car so we can cut some of these deputies loose. Okay. And then I'll let you know what's going on. Right? Okay. Channing is led to another patrol car where police let him know that he's under arrest. Let's see how the 37 year old reacts to the news. So, Calvin, here's the thing you are being placed under arrest for battery. So, I'm being placed under arrest for battery. What's in this pocket? For battery for what, sir? What's in this pocket? IDs. My back Battery for what? Go ahead. Battery for what? So, is she under arrest for battery? She is not, but you will have the opportunity to argue any charges against her. Where's the battery, though? Let me finish my I understand that, but where's the battery? Where's the battery, man? 
Where is the ladder? I'm, I'm, I'm being arrested for sneezing. County. Y'all gonna make the news, bro. Y'all gonna make the news. So I'm being detained for sneezing in Franklin County. I sneeze and it's on camera and I'm being detained. Y'all gonna make the news, dog. Y'all gonna make the news. Y'all gonna make the news. I will have your badge. I will have your badge. You will. Believe that. Thank you. All right, so I don't want to do no more talk. So, okay. Y'all, I'm being detained can for sneezing. Can I explain this for you? Can I explain well, this? What is it to explain, right. sir? So here's the thing. From whatever happened over there, uh, whether you sneeze, whether you spat on her, it did end up on her. So she wants to press charges. Sir, sir, so, sir. Right, she was in my personal space. If you sneeze right now, right now, even if you try to cover your face and get my personal space, it's going to get on me. Can I explain the rest of this process for you? I, honestly, God, I'm not lying. I just felt a piece of spit come over your teeth talking Shannon, to me just now. Shannon, <laughs> that's crazy. If, so did you just spit on me? Shannon, if you want to press charges on her, you will have to. Sir, sir, that's not the point. That's not the point. I'm going to jail for battery, and there is no battery. You mean to tell me y'all have a camera? I sneezed. I literally sneezed. Would you have that footage on camera? Okay, and I sneeze. So, so why am I going to jail for sneezing? Real quick, do you want anything going with her? Yeah, she will take it. this stuff. Is it the cards in the house? Yeah, we, we can get that. I am being detained. Wait a minute. They got this nigga in handcuffs and he can get into his pockets and everything, man. Dog, these cops. This dude's funny when he's going to jail. <laughs> he said, I just felt some spit come off your teeth. Does that mean you spit on me? This nigga talking about you gonna make the news. I'm gonna have you. We're gonna look at this news case. I'm about to get his name. We about to. Hey, for him. sneezing. Hey, Chan, what's your knees real this quick? This is unbelievable. What's your knees? What's your head? Channing is sent on his way to jail. And once in route, the 37 year old has some, let's just say, not so kind words for the officer. Ain't no finger press charge. Ain't no coming to get your bag. You have no right taking me to jail for f- sneezing. Tell my it did get on her. What the f they got to do with anything? Look. How do it feel to your balls every day? Every day you get up and throw your nuts. Because you ain't even got to ground you. I, I bet your is small. I bet you need some tweezers to grab that. Yeah. So, I bet your wife probably play with herself more than she really like to. Can't even satisfy your wife. Or do you got a husband? She like you taking in that boy? Say, little fruitcake. Come on, Shannon. I bet you I got stuck in lockers your whole life, didn't you? I ain't gonna lie. This is a clean ass back seat to a police car. I like how they got these seat belts, though. Normally they give you the regular seat belts, very uncomfortable. Now I don't like I never like being in the back of a cop car. You got to turn your feet sideways because when you handcuff, your your arms are like you're sitting on your arms, on your wrists, on your back. So you got to turn sideways so your arms ain't hitting against the seat. But yeah, I ain't never seen a cop car with the the seat belt like this. Even though this shit would tear your neck up if they were to slam on their brakes. Yeah, you cutting your whole neck up on this, but he talking bad to this cop, but he going to jail. Yeah, I've been bullied your whole life, ho. Oh, you can't even pay your bill. No. I'm worth millions. You ain't worth. Yeah, you ain't no. worth no millions. Returning no formula. My toys more than you. You're gonna be forever stuck like this. I know real officers. I got respect for them. I know real detectives in Daytona. They know me. I got respect for them. You ain't never. But a- my nigga Channing been snitching in Daytona. He said he know real detectives. He got respect for him. Hey, do you guys believe that? Do you believe that Channing is a millionaire? He said he's a millionaire. He said he got more money than the police officer. He only respect real detectives. Do we believe he's a millionaire? Maybe that's why he got upset. Because, like, I'm a millionaire. Y'all acting like I'm trying to commit fraud by turning in this formula, you know, this Similac. Like, I'm a millionaire. Do y'all believe he's a millionaire? I mean, I take him for his word. You know what I mean? He said he sneezed. He said it was on camera. Now, the camera footage was a little bit grainy. I believe he spat, but in the court of law, we got to wait and see. I don't know if he actually spat or not, but he might be a millionaire. That's what he said. First of all, Torian, I am a doctor. Let's get that straight. No foo-foo lame here. I am a doctor. Just remember, if you need anything, just let me know because I am a doctor. I am qualified. But um, I believe he is a millionaire. 
Flashlight car. Look, get mad at me because you're small. I bet you can't fit your wife right. I know you ain't fit that lady right. I know you ain't. I, I know you is not fucking that lady right. She might tell you you fucking her right, but I bet you any amount of money you're not fucking her right. He got a million dollars. You don't want to bet this man. Where the fuck she at? Mm. That's what you better worry about. Mm. About taking some of that big black slab. Ooh, that's a slab. Yeah, I ain't never seen no no porn site where, where you see plenty of BBC. You like want to pay somebody to fuck your wife anyway. You been Adam bullied 22. your whole life. Your whole life you've been bullied. I, I, I can look at a person, real shit. I got this gift. I can look at a, I can look in your eyes and I can tell you ain't been shit your whole life. You been bullied your whole life. At one point in time, you were super duper suicidal. You barely made look at him. Trying to get me to fuck up out of here. You about to do the speed limit 45. You doing 60 trying to get me up out of here. <laughs> hey, hey no, nah, Channing, hey, Channing might be one of the funniest niggas we seen in body cam footage. He going in though. He going in though. He said, I, I can look, I got this gift. I can look you in your eyes and tell you, you ain't been shit. You've been bullied all your life. He said, Man, I bet any 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 dollar amount you ain't effing her right, little dick. I'm like, hey yo. He said, mm, you driving fast again. Hey man, this is why I couldn't be a cop, man. This shit is ridiculous. Shannon is funny. I'd be up there laughing the whole time. Body cam footage on everything. They, you just hear me laughing. Then he said, "He's this living forty five. You doing sixty trying to get me up out of here?" Hey, this dude. Hey, Shannon is a funny guy. Matter of fact, we need to, someone. Well, like I said, right now my Facebook is uh, deactivated. Right now, you know, I got a little dispute with them going on. Some shit from the last year, like videos we were watching, got hit on that. So right now, I might be losing my Facebook. Oh, well. <laughs> I could say, someone give me Channing Cook's uh, Facebook. We're going to bring him on for an interview. I can't wait to tell him. You're doing shit to try to get me up by them. God, law, you, you got you to gotta uphold the law. You got to uphold the law. You're 45. Why the fuck are you doing 16 to 45? You know why? Because you was a... <laughs> that's why that's why your <laughs> boy your kids and your fucking mammy she should have squeezed her legs together and broke your neck when she had you and i hope all both of your parents dead they need to be it's on their grave boy what kind of job i got a man that would talk like that about my people use them <laughs> with no look Nuts. How the fuck y'all live with y'all still? What you think y'all gonna do my truck fried rice y'all whole life? They need to ban you, bringing all that COVID over here. Throw you, you Cambodian, bit the knee, whatever. I know you got a lad and you hate your life. You know? Now we're not gonna make fun of them because of I'm who they are now. No, no, I would have been taking me through this. You ain't nothing but a. My family finna have your head. Hey, that seatbelt loose as a motherfucker. If he slams on the brakes right now, look at that seatbelt. The seatbelt ain't even over his shoulder no more. This motherfucker so loose. Man, he going straight through that little cage. You will not have that badge. I bet you won't have that badge. Wait till I beat it, because I'm going to beat it. It's an applied assumption that I sneeze. You mean to tell me if I sneeze and they carry through the wind and hit somebody because it got on them that's battery? Man, you something. You dumb. Fuck, I bet you ain't got no wife. I bet you ain't got no wife. I mean, ain't nobody attracted to that, man. What the fuck? Yes, we probably need to go on investigation for child porn. You look like one of them. Straight. You look like you need to go on investigation for child porn. I bet you watch some old crazy. All you do. Especially you, bitch. You just look creepy. Can't get no. Hey, how do you live with yourself? How do you real talk? Wake up every day and not just end that. Like, for real, what keep you going? Are oh, you a devoted Christian? Is that what do it? What 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 keep you going? You driving this car for what? Sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars at the most? You? You got the right one. My lawyer's gonna run this. I'm sitting on millions. I'll drive the S five fifty, ho. You know what my lawyer finna do to y'all? You crazy. You finna see. I'm gonna make you a believer today. Shrimp fried rice. 
I want to your wife. That's what I want to do. I want to your wife. But if I and then you go back, you ain't gonna be able to do four. If I listen, if I your wife, I ain't talking about If I your wife and you go back in there, that's gonna be like rolling a hot dog in the hallway. But that's the problem. You must have got. <laughs> he said, "If I if I get done knocking your wife down, man, it's gonna be like rolling a hot dog in the hallway." And that was a good one. That's a good one. That's a, that's a good one. He said, "If I get done fucking your wife, you'll go out there. It's gonna be like rolling a hot dog in the hallway." <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That is a good one right there. Nah, that's a, hey, that that's a good one. This dude's been going. I'm about to go back real quick. So we at uh, it's what 1957. So what seven it's 757? I want to know how long he been in the back of this car going off, man. But the hot dog in the hallway, that that's a good one. I'm using that one. The hot dog in the hallway. <laughs> My dog hallway. Oh my god! Yeah, that, that's a good one. After I get done, it's gonna be like rolling a hot dog in the hallway. Wait till hey, wait till I get my Facebook account back. If I get it back, man, let somebody troll me. All right, you're gonna be like rolling a hot dog in the hallway. Keep fucking around, <laughs> yo, lady. You must have got cheated on. Look, look at you. Look at you. And you ugly. I'm just being honest. There's nothing attractive about your short on the ground look. I'm serious, bro. What the fuck kind of feel bad for you? You ugly. You smaller than a. You ain't got nothing going for yourself. What a badge? I'm glad if your grandma did. I'm glad if your granddad did. Cause you know why? Because they should be ashamed of them. So they need them. They should be ashamed of themselves for bringing some shit like this in the world. They should be ashamed of themselves. Get mad at me because you've been stuffed in your fucking lockers for the rest of your life. Look. My is too small. So I'm upset. Next, Channing changes his tune and apologizes to the officer before revealing his surprising vocation. Man. I'm upset. That ain't got nothing to do with you. And I'm convicted. I'm 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 big time convicted. Like my conscience and, 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 and God is eating me up. I don't know your family and I apologize for anything I said about them. I, I shouldn't even did none of that, man. I'm convicted. It's my fault. I didn't attention to Oh hell no, Janet stand on business, nigga. This is only five minutes later. This is only you apologizing. Now stand on business, Channing. Man, you got the crowd going crazy over here. We waiting for your next stand up. Keep going crazy, Shannon. It's been on nobody, but I can't keep carrying on like this, man. I'm a youth pastor, and there's too many people around here. Hell no, nah, you ain't no new uh, youth pastor. Then now we got to look that up. I thought you was a millionaire. I thought he was a millionaire. That's doing it just for nothing. But right now, I'm just upset. You feel me? So I ain't gonna do that. I can't get in trouble with God, man. I just gotta sit down and just go through my process. Ain't no need for all that extra. But I do apologize. I'm not just saying it, man. I do. I'm angry, but you're just doing your job, man. I wouldn't want nobody talking to my son or my daughter like that. My wife, you know, so. Just upset, that's all, man. And God knows I got a racist bone in my body. As you can see, my children are Spanish. <laughs> I just... Hurt people, hurt people, man. Channing was booked into the Flagler County Jail for battery. His charge was later upgraded to a felony due to similar past convictions. His case is ongoing. Damn. Let me see. How long was he back here acting a damn fool? 
So the body cam started at uh what seven forty five, and he went <laughs> and then he changed his tune at eight twenty five. So he went in for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes, my dog was in the back seat. Well, he ain't my dog, but the dog was in the back seat for thirty minutes, going in only for him to see the damn police station. Like, well, you know, man, hurt people, hurt people. I didn't mean to talk to you like that. Sometimes I get lost and I get led astray. The devil is just reaching up and grabbing my ankles and like, yo, pause. But the devil is reaching up and grabbing me, trying to pull me back. And I'm a youth pastor. I'm trying to change my ways. And I wouldn't want anyone talking to my kids like that. You know, I don't have a racist bone in my body. You can see my kids. They're Spanish. They're <laughs> beautiful kids, too. You got my wallet up there in evidence. If you look in there, I got a picture of both of them. Now, neither one of them are mine, but I, I'm the father that stepped up, you know. I always said a good man would be a, a good stepfather, and that, that's what I did. You know, I found her, and she actually made me a better man. The driver like, nah, nigga, don't change up now. You going to jail, man. They, just, <laughs> they upgraded from just a little battery. He talking about where the battery at, man. Now they gave him a felony. Damn. Channing. He just switched up. Well, the good thing is he is a millionaire. So at the end of the day, you know, they always say, man, we clown on him, but he's a millionaire. You know, they always say that whenever, whenever someone's doing something messed up, well, at least he's rich. Like, nah, money don't change nothing, man. But at least he's a millionaire. So when he went into the jail, he had all kinds of money. He could pay off the warden. He could do everything. He go talk to the sheriff. Hey, I'm a millionaire. I'll donate some money back to the community. 